Welcome, this is a tutorial video for the hand scrap system. I will show how to change default mannequin hands from the templates to this package from Switchboard Studios. In the second part I will show how to import a new mesh and make it work with the system. I found this screwdriver model on the Sketchfab and it's free. Before I begin, I want to thank you all for great feedback and rating. A week ago I received an email from Epic Games. It was written there that my product will be included in the upcoming Unreal Marketplace Showcase category. As you can see now, it's on the main page of the Marketplace. I'm sure all of that wouldn't be possible without you guys. All of that gives me understanding that I'm moving in the right direction and gives me motivation to make more products. Unreal is a great engine, and it has a great community. I'm happy to be part of it. I hope this project will help you to reach your goals and you will enjoy developing games. As you can see from the description, these hands are rigged to Epic Default's skeleton, and my system is based on this skeleton too. That means that it would be very easy to replace the hands. First of all, import your hands into the engine and select Mannequin Hand Right Skeleton. Open up example item. Make hand preview visible. and change the skeletal mesh. Let's check how it looks. Works great. Now let's check how Sphere will work with it. Ok, in the preview it works well. Let's check how it will look in VR. Open example item again. And turn off the visibility of the hand preview mesh. Now let's go to BP motion controller. And change skeletal mesh there. And don't forget to set the right material for your hand. That looks great too. Ok, now I will show how to import a new mesh. Let's create actor blueprint and call it screwdriver. Add static mesh. Make it root. Add grab component. And make some changes here. I will add the custom rotation here, because I'm using HTC Vive controller. You can play with these numbers. I will turn off simulate on drops, so it won't fall on the ground. After that, add a skeletal mesh for a preview hand. Open your motion controller and copy location value from there. 
and paste it to hand mesh preview. You will need rotation too. And don't forget to change blueprint animation class. If you don't have a proper collision, you didn't make it in a 3D modeling software, use Auto Convex tool inside the Unreal Engine. I think it's great. Set these values to maximum and click apply. And it will generate collision for you automatically. Now move grab component to a place where you want to grab this item. Move only AC grab component, don't move hand mesh preview. Let's check how it will look like during simulating. You can change AC grab components transform during simulation. And when you like how it looks, you can stop. After that, everything will be saved. Okay, that looks good to me. I will turn off hand mesh preview visibility. We don't need that anymore. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you.